Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This will be the long-awaited review on the 1-6 scale Toys Era Joaquin Phoenix Joker figure. I've been waiting to get my hands on this for a long time. I picked up mine from ToysWonderland.com. They were really cool. I'll leave a link to them in the description underneath this video. We all need somewhere reliable where we can pick up our figures. And they were really cool and um, yeah, I'll definitely be getting more stuff from ToysWonderland.com in the future. I intend to pick up my Hot Toys Pennywise from them. So I'll leave a link and you can check them out guys. But thanks Toys Wonderland for getting you here so safe and so quick. And I really can't wait to get stuck into this review. I hope you enjoy it guys, hit the like button if you do. Let's get stuck in. Alright now before we get too stuck in, I just want to get something out of the way first. Mr. Phoenix, I would like to present you with something I think you truly deserve, sir. Go ahead and hold on to that. bound to get a few questions about this Oscar here so I'll just let you know that came with a custom nurse outfit for the Heath Ledger Joker and I got it on eBay many years ago I've never really looked to see if it's still available um, it might be but that's where I got the Oscar from the custom nurse once it's scale outfit for the Joker from the Dark Knight all right let's take a look at the head sculpts this is my favorite one because the hair is the right length and they did a very good job with this sculpt great paint work Great expression, looks good from every angle. I really like this one. But most importantly, the hair on this one is the right length and is sculpted really well. Very accurate looking to me. Great side profile on this one. So that is definitely the head sculpt that I would be using the most. My issue with this one is the fact that the hair is too short. It is noticeably shorter than the one here with the smiling expression. Obviously the paintwork on this one is a lot more messy. And I mean, you can see though the face, the likeness is really strong. And that does, if I ignore the hair, because I kind of have to, to, to like this one, I kind of cover it up as much as I can. But if you look at the face, they did a really good job of capturing Joaquin Phoenix under the makeup. And particularly, if you imagine that head there resting up against the glass of the cop car when he's being driven, he's watching all the chaos go by. I mean, they did a good job, man. I can go in and do a bit more paintwork on this and I don't know if that little blue bit of something in the corner of his eye there, if that will just rub away or maybe I have to correct that with some paint, I'm not too sure what that is, but it's not, you know, a high, high end figure, you know, for what you get, I can't remember the exact price I paid, but it was about between 130, 140 pounds I believe, it's been a while now since I pre-ordered it, but it's a good price I think for what you get. But yeah, definitely intend to go in with some super sculpty clay and add some more length to the hair and then paint match it. And I look forward to showing that in the very near future, as soon as I'm finished with this review, because I've got to review it as you're going to get it. A nice stock figure and not change anything just yet. Once I've done the review, I will absolutely be getting on with the modification for the hair, possibly the paint, but it is sculpted very well. Great detail, really love it. I'm gonna have a job trying to match that. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll be able to pull something off. No need to add much, just literally, just a little bit more. Where my finger starts, that's about where the hair should end. So, but a great job though, great likeness. Nice messy makeup from the end of the movie. I'm gonna make that look a bit more nasty once I paint it. Looking forward to that. And the Arthur Fleck head here. I do believe, as other people have pointed out in their reviews, it does look like the same sculpt, just painted different. And this one here, uh, obviously more heads, um, more hair needs to be added, just like on the other one, because it's the same sculpt, so I'll do that too. But I will be turning this into the bathroom scene, uh, Arthur Fleck. I've got the outfit ordered online, so that shouldn't be too long now, and then I'll bring you videos on that too. But I'm really looking forward to using this head for the bathroom scene slash train scene, which means I got to paint the makeup on myself, his hair was still brown, so I don't need to change the color of the hair. But I do need to apply the makeup. And the interesting thing about the train scene slash bathroom scene, the makeup is pretty much the same, but there is a black line going around the red lipstick. All the way around, like an outline in black. So that will be uh, re that will require a steady hand. But there you go. Great sculpts. Just needs a bit more extra length on the hair. This one is, for the price, pretty much flawless. Great job on this one. 
just that alone. If I had to come with just this, I think I'd still be quite happy with the fact that you get three of them. That is seriously cool. I mean, you get all these plus the other accessories. You're laughing. All right, let's talk about this suit. Now, it's good. It's good. It's not 100% accurate as far as the color goes. Uh, in fact, let's just take this off here. Thanks to Mark and Irene for sending along this cool framed picture. Uh, now, this is not a still from the movie. I believe this is literally just a shot, you know, like the ones that were coming out online, uh, people taking pictures and paparazzi and all that stuff. So I do believe this is a very accurate picture to get an idea of what the actual color of the suit is. And as you can see, it's just, um, I don't know exactly what color you'd call that. Some people are saying like burgundy, but it's got a very, very slight kind of orangey tinge to the red, you know? But anyway, that's the color everything should be. You can see the shoes. You'll see the shoes over here. Yeah, they're uh, not as light as they should be. I mean, the shadow that he's casting is covering them up, but you can see they're darker than they should be. Uh, he comes with the white socks, so that's good. So the suit's good, but it's not accurate as far as the color goes, but it's close enough, you know? I mean, it's good enough for the price. His uh, vest there, you can see the color. Again, not really looking too accurate as far as the color of the vest goes, but that might just be this picture. I'll have to check more. So don't take my word for it on that, but the shirt looks pretty good. There he is. <laughs> it's pretty good. There are ways to get it to look even better. Now, hand in the pocket pose, sort of clasping the, the jacket down tight to the body, that will slim him down and it just looks cool. And he looked cool in the film, man. Once he became the Joker and uh, he's at the top of that staircase, he was a different person. It's amazing. And the sort of footage that we've seen, you might have seen it, but literally on the top of those staircases, I guess it's apartments on either side of the, the you know, the walls of the, the staircase. And there were people filming with their phones as Joaquin Phoenix was kind of psyching himself up at the top of the staircase, just with his hands in his pockets, smoking a cigarette, just kind of two-stepping, getting ready to, you know, do the dance scene at the top of the stairs, walking down. And yeah, he had his hands in his pockets a lot in that moment. So, you know, it makes me feel like, uh, like I'm not just stretching, you know, reaching, <laughs> trying to make something look better by finding a way around it. He did have his hands in his pockets and he had a very cool kind of way about him once he did fully become the Joker. So hands in the pockets is a good way of uh, making this jacket look a bit more tight to the body and just a bit more form fitting. It's a bit bulky there's no doubt about it but it's not terrible um maybe once i see the m toys version which nick is getting uh, and i'm sure we'll do a comparison i said i was getting it i don't know now because now i'm thinking uh, maybe i should start getting ready for pennywise to come out from hot toys because i really really want that pennywise figure and um i've said to toys wonderland can you make sure that you can save me one he said yep absolutely he told me the price so I'm just uh, got to save up now and get ready to get Pennywise. So I'm not too sure if buying another Joker just for a little thing like, I don't know, whatever. Just a little bit of size difference on the jacket. I'm fine with this, to be honest. The more I'm looking at it, the more I like it. So I'm going to see, like I said, Nick's getting it. So I'm going to see what his M-Toys Joker looks like compared to this. And I'll make a final decision. And later on down the line, we'll see what happens. I'll probably get the M-Toys or maybe get that custom outfit I've seen on eBay today or see what happens in the next few months. I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of the Joaquin Phoenix Joker in figure form. You know, other people are going to jump on this because it certainly has been prop, uh, popular, you know. But it looks good. The suit's cool. I don't really like the Velcro, but you don't see it, really. You can see a little bit of it there, but I'm sure I can tweak that and fix it with a little bit of uh, glue or whatever needs to be done. Um, the trousers, pants, whatever you want to call them, they are a bit too big, man. Uh, I guess... I just need to maybe pull them up a bit, maybe putting his hand in his pocket, kind of pull them down a touch. But I can feel at the back, they're not um, they're not too low or anything. And I'm just thinking, uh, I forget what this is called now, but you know how on jackets this line here is a separate, so this flap here would be a flap, it would be separate, it's not connected in real life. Uh, on the figure it is connected, and actually you can put your finger through, so if you were to cut or snip that i think that would be more accurate and might help the coat to sit a bit more naturally maybe i need to look into that guys and let you know about it but it's only a little bit of thread really holding uh this together and i'm pretty sure in real life this would be oh, i wish i knew the technical term for it. i heard someone talking about it recently but you know that should be more of a flap than one sort of piece but you can it looks like it easily separate them 
because look, I'm putting my finger through. You just need to cut that little bit of thread or whatever, and that might be more accurate. But the suit feels really nice. It does. It's almost um, like that kind of material where if you've got any rough skin, it'll catch. Even if you're just doing that, you'll feel it kind of catching your skin, which is not good because you might get threads coming out. It's not quite there. It's not quite that bad as like some custom capes. For example, I remember I had a Man of Steel Tony made cape, and if you even touched it, you could just hear your skin like ripping at it. It was just that kind of weird sensitive material. Uh, and this is almost like that, but not quite that bad. So um, it's not happened yet. I haven't had any snags or anything like that, but I do feel like I don't really want to handle it that much. But yeah, the pants are too baggy, man. So that's something I might have to deal with. I guess you could just shrink the suit a little bit. I remember doing that with my gun sill coveralls for my 78 Myers figure. I wanted them to be a tiny bit less baggy. So I, well, that was just part of the consequence of dyeing them navy blue, but they shrunk a tiny bit. I wonder if I can shrink this. I mean, certainly uh, shrink his pants just a touch, but then they might ride up a little bit too high, but then I could always just pull them down a little bit at the waist. Might try shrinking these. Because that's the only thing that um, I'm not mad about. We just lost our background, folks. All right, so I did just cut the, um, the two little threads that were holding this flap in place. So now I think that's more realistic. Is it, if it's not supposed to be like this, then oh well, I screwed up. But I think it will help with articulation and get the, the jacket to sit a bit more flush. So I'm glad I did that. Well, his arms out stretched because I was going to show you some posability, but I'll just save you some time. I mean, he's got a double bend in the elbow, so he can get the the hands right up to his head uh, in a you know variety of uh, poses become possible when you can do that. And uh, yeah, there's good movement. It's a bit of a stiff body. It's kind of you know like an old kind of Hot Toys True type body, but it's obviously a copy of that kind of design. And yeah, so I'm wondering if that has helped a little bit with the uh, the jacket poking out possibly but either way i'm pretty sure that is supposed to be like a flap so that's uh something to bear in mind folks obviously i need to research it a bit more but i just wanted it to be like that once i discovered that i was able to do it but yeah articulation is good the legs move normally you know he does all the stuff i can get him to sit in a chair which is going to come in handy because i am planning on using the dx11 joker interrogation room diorama with the you know the whole the walls of the cell the door behind uh, the chair, the desk, get him sitting there in the interrogation room. I think that's going to look really, really cool. And maybe we'll have a few guests in the room with him. I'm thinking uh, maybe a bit of Heath Ledger, Jack Nicholson, Mark Hamill, you know. Don't worry about it. I've got it all covered on the channel. Just make sure you don't go off anywhere or go on, you know. Pay your internet bill, make sure you got your Wi-Fi, otherwise you ain't going to be able to watch it, are you? Pay your bills, people, Jesus. I should probably put the head back on the body now, but I just wanted to let you really concentrate on the tailoring and the suit and stuff like that. I, I haven't taken his jacket off, I should probably do that. I want to see if the back of the vest is the accurate colour, because I don't think it's all supposed to be that kind of yellowish colour. I think it's supposed to be, turns into like a kind of satiny kind of brown at the back. So we'll see if that's the case, I'll take that off now. But as baggy as the pants are, they're not that baggy from the front, because of that nice kind of crease. It really does keep them looking quite good from the front and pretty much from the side as well. I mean, they don't look like, you know, MC Hammer style. Um, millennials will be wondering who's MC Hammer. Uh, have fun YouTube in that. <laughs> oh man, it's a good thing I stopped because I suddenly realized as I was pulling off the jacket, it's going to be really difficult to get the sleeves um, nicely in this position so you can't see the wrist peg. If I take the jacket off, trying to get that to happen again, it could be a real pain in the butt. So rather than that, I'm just going to lift it up and I can see here that, yes, it is accurate. The vest does change color. And I think it's basically the exact same color as its inner lining for his jacket. But I'm glad that that's there. I don't know if he wore a belt in the movie. I remember Justin mentioning that. I can't remember, to be honest. I'm sure we can find out. But either way, I'm not too fussed about the belt if it is messing because uh, you can't really see it with the vest coming down anyway. But yeah, it's good to know that the vest, um, maybe not the best color-wise accuracy, but um, 
That's not a very good sentence. Anyway, you know what I mean. He's he's pretty good. <laughs> flap. You now have a flap, sir. Flappage. So I got me DX11 Joker chair. And I was saying to Nick uh, the other day on Facebook, I was like, damn, I wish I had the Blitzway Fight Club Tyler Durton. Not the first red jacket version, but the, the other version with the shorter hair and the fur coat, because that comes with a really cool chair that this Joker could sit in. And I thought it was quite a movie accurate looking chair, but once I uh, check the scene in the film, I can see that it's definitely a different kind of chair altogether. But I still think he would look very cool in that Blitzway Fight Club chair. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can grab one of those on eBay or something similar. I'm sure I can find something. It was more of a just a kind of 70s-esque kind of swivel chair, you know, with the kind of silver base at the bottom that just can swivel and turn. Quite a simple seat that he was in. But anyway, I want to see what he looks like sitting in the chair. So let me get him put together and pose him up and get back to you. All right, so I've got him sitting in the chair, throwing his arm over the back of it. Looking pretty good. So there's no problems with getting him to sit down. That all works out quite nicely. And it's just pointing the gun. And again, I've gone with my favorite head sculpt on this one. I think it looks pretty good. Just using this arm to get that jacket side to stay flat and using this hand to keep that pressed down keep it all you know looking kind of natural that's pretty good put the cigarette in the other hand just chilling backstage waiting for his time to finally meet murray franklin <laughs> now i'm not going to show it in the review because you know it is what it is but there is a certain moment in the movie before he goes on stage at the Murray Franklin show the camera sort of pans and we see that he's doing something with this gun backstage in the dressing room um, and he can do that I did it just now and I took some pictures probably put them on Instagram I'm not going to put them in the review on YouTube just in case um, but yeah he can do it so go on Instagram and if you're not sure what I'm talking about you'll see what I'm talking about on there but thanks to the double bend in the elbow and the good articulation, I was able to get the gun in a certain area. And uh, yeah, these cigarettes ain't too great. It's basically just a paper that's been rolled over until it's formed the shape of the cigarette. Obviously it's got the print on there, but it's not like a little plastic one six scale cigarette or anything. It's literally just paper that's been rolled over uh, to make a cigarette. So be very careful. I mean, I've already had it kind of come apart a little bit but I've uh, managed to just stick it back together again Ooh, get nice and close look at that yeah so I got lucky I got two I think you're only supposed to get one or maybe you're supposed to get two I don't know some people didn't get any um, so there you go I've got two cigarettes yay alright got all the jokers together looks absolutely fantastic definitely going to be taking some pictures from all the different angles I'll stick it on Instagram so you can check it out on there Probably pop some on Facebook as well, so I'm sure you'll see it. But yeah, there is Joaquin, surrounded by all the classic portrayals of this character. I mean, Mark Hamill, fantastic, Jack Nicholson also, and Heath Ledger, obviously. Done an incredible job. And now Joaquin has as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that there take a couple of pictures so it looks absolutely amazing So just to be clear, you've got the 
Arkham Asylum, one six scale Joker by Hot Toys. I haven't done anything to that modification wise, that is just a totally stock figure. And same goes for the Jack Nicholson DX Hot Toys figure in the back there. Nothing's been done to him. Then you've got the Toys Aero Whacking Phoenix 1 6 scale figure. And this is kind of the DX11 Hot Toys Joker, but the head has been swapped out for a custom one that was sent to me by Steve Maurice at Trespass Customs. And it's absolutely ridiculously amazing. It's like super real. It's amazing. Um, and it just looks incredible seeing these guys together. I can't stress that enough. I, I keep wanting to move on in the review and film something else, but I just think, how many times do you get to do this? Well, I guess you can do it as much as you want now that they're here, but it just seems like a special moment. It really does. I'm just trying to get it from every angle. That's so cool. Hit the brightness, make it dark. There you go. Gosh, he looks so real. There's the Oscar. So now there's the regular Arthur Fleck head sculpt, and it doesn't look too bad. It's all about how you get the lighting on this thing, and I'm literally holding a light uh, to catch the light in his eyes here, because when I take that away, you can't really see his eyes. Got some light coming from behind, some light coming from uh, up above here. So I'm just trying to show you that it's not too bad, man. For the price point, considering you get three heads, I mean, I wish the hair was longer on this one. Uh, but I do think that is a very good likeness to Arthur Fleck from the film, definitely. So, not too, not too peeved about this one. But that does look very good. I, yeah, um, I've seen it look terrible on Facebook. I've got to tell you, I mean, and even myself when I'm looking at it here in certain lights, I think yeah, it doesn't look very good. But if you get the lighting right, I mean, and the angle, it's definitely him. And no doubt about it. I'm Freddy Krueger. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Freddy. What, laddie? Can you get out of the review, please? That is super rude. Nobody invited you. Of course you did, Sonny. Last night in your dream. You said, Freddy, can you turn up in the review and cheer things up a bit? Because it's going to be effing miserable. Hey, watch it. He's won an Oscar, he has. He's bloody talented. What have you ever won? What have I ever won? Have you ever... Well, bollocks. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, sorry, but yeah, super impressed with it to be honest. Um, I can't wait to take the paintbrush to it and turn it into the bathroom scene look once I get my outfit. So yeah, I did kind of write this sculpt off, but in the nice lighting here, I actually quite uh, quite fond of it now. And it's pretty sweet. Oh, for Christ's sake, ready. I am just moving some lights around here and I want to get the light to catch his eyes. I like the way this looks. Again, definitely looking forward to lengthening the hair on this sculpt because I think I might dremel down these chunky bits here a little bit because I might just add, I need to think about how I'm going to do it because I literally see where my fingers are here where this, the gap is. The hair should be sort of coming down here. You shouldn't really be seeing that gap. So. I need to figure out the best way. It's a very small amount of hair I need to add. And if you push his head back as far as it will go, you can kind of, no, you can't really. You still see, see the gap right here? That's what I don't want. The other smiling sculpt doesn't have that, which is really, really, it does make a big difference to the overall look of everything. Because it is with all these one scale figures and any scale really, the smallest little details can make or break. Uh, you know, the overall um, visual, accuracy and all that business sometimes it's also good uh, i find uh to maybe just pull the head not off the joint you know but don't have it completely all the way pressed down because uh, it can make him look a little bit no necky because of the uh the kind of chunkiness of the suit here yeah that looks pretty good let's just get this light to catch his eyes 
it's still not really doing it. I want the glint of light in the eyes. And I'm not really getting it. So, yeah, but the suit doesn't look too chunky there. Again, the DX11 hands, uh, definitely helping things. Don't test me, bruv. But overall, I am uh, quite impressed with how things are. Seriously, dude. Nah, get out. Out. See in your dreams, laddie. See in your dreams. Come on, Jason. He's being a dick. <laughs> Apologies. Um, I do like this sculpt a lot, though. Like the messy makeup. You've kind of got this thing that I'm sure a lot of you have noticed. Uh, in the kind of where the details of the skin would be like the the furrow in the brow the crow's feet The white face paint has kind of sunk into the recesses of all the little wrinkles on his face and it looks a bit weird um, The way he's caking that makeup on his face with the brush in the film Maybe that's how that would go, but I don't know I just I can't help but imagine and obviously with all the experience of seeing all the hot toys joker figures Which usually involve a fair bit of white face paint and the crow um I just I haven't really seen this happen on a head sculpt before. Like, let me just uh, get closer. But you can see what I'm talking about on the kind of, yeah, like right in the crevice of his nose. Let me get something to point with. Uh, Joker, may I borrow your knife? Thank you, sir. Um, yeah. In the crevices there, in the line that comes down to the mouth, the corner of the mouth there, the crow's feet, definitely the furrow in the brow there. You're just getting this kind of, and even in the corner of his eye, um, the white paint is just kind of sinking into those recesses. I don't know, it's just, maybe that's how that would really be, but it just, I mean, the light is beaming into his face. I'm not kidding, like right, before, right behind the phone here, there's a huge, big round LED light shining right into his face and it's not even, it's like maybe 12 inches away from his face. So it's pretty harsh lighting going on right now, but it is worth pointing out. I'm sure you can see. He does look cool sitting in the chair here. I haven't really bothered to uh, do much with the poses as far as the arms. I'm trying to keep the suit at bay, <laughs> you know, <laughs> trying to keep the uh, the jacket flaps from going blah. So, um, yeah, he still looks cool, though, because you'd need to bust out the handcuffs. I think Catwoman over on the shelf is currently rocking the handcuffs somewhere over there. But, yeah, he looks good, man. Just need to make that hair longer. I think I'm really going to fall in love with this sculpt once the hair's longer because it's... Um, it's cool. It's very thoughtful and menacing. Just need to make the hair longer, so I'll tackle that. Once the review's done, keep it locked. Now this looks really badass. You got the Christian Bale Dark Knight Batman behind the Toys Era Joker. I think that looks really, really cool. So I'll let you go ahead and absorb that for a few seconds. That is really epic. It's really cool. <laughs> oh man. Might be the highlight of the review right there. Should I try it with Ben Affleck Batman or maybe save that for a later video? I just felt the Christian Bale Batman was uh, better suited to this particular Joker if I had to choose out of all of them. That's the one I put behind him. interrogation room.
looks pretty good. Again, the short hair is bugging me, and I'm going to fix that soon. But I mean, trying to work with the suit, getting it look a bit form fitting and slim down doesn't look too bad there there's not nothing jumping out at me that looks too wrong with it uh, lighting's pretty okay right now let me just hit that brightness for you there you go it looks nice yeah, he's just stepping forward he's got his gun in his hand yeah man, this is a nice looking piece it's a bit of a mess right now to be honest you got Freddy over there you got Heath Jack Nicholson up there bits everywhere yeah, it's a mess I'm gonna have to wrap up this review guys I'll uh, just pose them up one last time give you my final thoughts but don't worry plenty more video action on the way like I said I'm going to be modifying this piece quite extensively so I will be keeping you up to date on that on the channel and yeah let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you want to see any kind of comparisons that you want to see uh, stuff like that just anything you want to see let me know and I'll get to that in the very near future but yeah let me just uh, pose them up one last time and give you my final thoughts My final pose here in the review I've gone for something quite simple just wanted it to look right you know I want the suit to look good I want the lightness to look strong I want to try and incorporate that cigarette and the gun and yeah everything's looking pretty decent pants ain't looking too baggy there jacket looks all right that's the greatest head sculpt out of the bunch the laughing kind of smiling expression the hair is the right length painted and sculpted really well really really happy with the way he's looking so I feel quite happy wrapping up the review with this pose because I think that would look really good right there in your detail or on your shelf whatever the case may be I don't think anyone's going to walk in the room and look at this and think oh we saw you coming <laughs> you know I don't think anyone's going to think you got robbed this is a great looking piece for a great price I don't know what the price will be like in a few months to come because obviously a lot of people want this and also you've got the uh, M Toys version and a couple of other versions out there. I will be seeing the M Toys version because Nick's getting it, so we'll do a comparison video. That should be fun. Have a good in-depth kind of discussion about the whole, you know, Toys Era versus M Toys sort of thing. We'll see. Uh, I think that looks fantastic. If I'm going to give it a score out of 10, I feel an 8.5 on this one. I think that's fair for everything you got. I think that's a good score. 8.5 from me. Don't forget to check out toyswonderland.com. That's where I got mine. That's where you can get yours. And if you enjoyed this review or found it entertaining or useful, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to join up with Patreon, you can do that. That's one dollar a month doing the channel full time. So any help would be greatly appreciated. And I'll stick your name at the end of every video, just like the credits of a movie. Because all my Patreons are producers of my content. You know, just like a movie. A big list of producers who all uh, you know get involved and help the movie happen. That's how I think of my patrons, producers, on the night vision features. Uh, check me out on Instagram and Facebook at D Night Free for Free. I'll see you real soon, guys. Back soon with more mod videos on this figure. Going to be doing a lot to it. Can't wait to see how it turns out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye bye. Thank you.